Well, hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today, we are going to be taking out the camper for its maiden voyage. It is 22 degrees outside right now, which is pretty remarkable considering where I live. So it's really cold. So we're gonna be putting this camper to the test uh, this weekend. I think the lows tonight and Saturday night are gonna be around 18 to 20 degrees. So I don't care where you're from, that's cold. That's 12 degrees below freezing. So. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm going to, you know, be able to test it out, make sure it, uh, it it tows okay on the highway and doesn't fall apart and fly down the gutter and whatever. But uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, it's just going to be me and the wife. So uh, it's going to be a nice little getaway. So I'm going to get this thing hooked up and we're going to be on the way and I'll give you some updates uh, on the way. But I think it's going to be a, a good little trip for us to, to make sure that this camper does what I intended for it to do when I built it. So wish us luck and safe travels Okay, let's see guys, we are 34 minutes out to the campsite. Uh, it seems to be towing fine. I'm cruising at 60. I don't have any sway, so I think we're good to go. And in case any of you folks are wondering who the passenger is over here, this is uh, this is my wife. She's making her YouTube debut. So um, go ahead and say hi to my million and a half. Hello everyone. I'm kidding about the million and a half, but. Okay guys, well we will see you when we get to the campsite. Wish us luck.
checking in for the weekend. Okay, you got a reservation? I do, yes ma'am. You ma will go ahead and pull up, come in, okay. and your license plate number. Uh, me? <laughs> She's like, I just haven't ever seen anything like that before. I said, that's because it's homemade. Homemade. Okay guys, well we made it. It's not the most beautiful camp spot in the world, but this was the only one available for this weekend. And I really just wanted to use this site as just a test to see how the trailer would, would pull and you know, give it its first couple of nights out in the wilderness. It pulled great, uh, there was no sway. I was kind of worried about that. I probably shouldn't be, but uh, it pulled fine. So now, at least we don't have to set up a tent now. We just got to get the cooler out and crack open a cold one and uh, start relaxing, so. It'll be nice, the wife and I, you know, having two nights away from the kids, away from the from the house, and just kind of chill out here. But this is the campsite, so again, it's nothing, it's nothing beautiful. It's not on the lake or anything, but this is all that we had to work with. So this will be home for the next two nights. And I'm going to get this trailer set up and leveled and chalked, and we'll be good to go. Glad I got the long ones. Yeah, because we've been used to a uh, level driveway. Yeah. Nice. Chili. Tis chili. <laughs> Did you say it's chili? Huh? Yeah. Did you say it's chili? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get the camper plugged in and get the heater going. What do we get? Do you want? I'll take one of my shiners. Yeah, or, that's the... yeah, that's good. You need pecan. I'm getting the. Mm. So we got camp set up. So now it's on to enjoying some adult beverages before we get the fire going. Yeah. She'll lighten up. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing. Okay. So we're going to take a little walk, see what's around here. Again, there's not much. We're kind of in a bad spot, but we got what we could for this weekend. So let's go exploring. It's easier for me, but you're going to have a hard time. You're tall. <laughs> I'll be fine.
Oh, there goes my head. <laughs> well, this is kind of cool up here. I do me tumbling straight down to those cactuses. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go that way. No, I don't. <laughs> no fishing this trip. No, not this time. Unless Can't we go get down to the water from where we're at. To a dock. So let's see here. Yeah, go ahead. I'd, I'd love to get you on video falling down. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, from our campsite. <laughs> maybe we just turn around because this isn't leading it anywhere neat. Yeah, it's away from the water. <laughs> I don't think I'd call this a bridge. A giant rock? Well, guys, we made it to the water. Hmm. A little bit anticlimactic. <laughs> Pretty though. Somebody's been catfish. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Please fall in. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to relax for a little bit, have a couple of beverages, and then we'll cook dinner. It's going to be exquisite hot dogs tonight, so. <laughs> hey, guys, so real quick, we found a, a pretty cool lookout. Um, what's sad is that this is one campsite away from us, and it's a completely different feel to it, but I wanted to show you guys the view that if we were one camp spot away, what we have, so. The wife's down there already, but it's pretty cool. Take a look. <laughs> now this is a nice view. It's a little steep. Uh, yeah. Definitely not a kid-friendly site. This is a really steep cliff. I don't know if anyone can tell. That's steep. That's very steep. Yeah, but the view's awesome. Yeah. Where are you going, Tiger? <laughs> it's a little gravelly. In fact, there's ice. Is it really? Yes. So it is still so cold out here. Apparently there is ice stuck to some of these trees or whatever let's see <laughs> gotta have my safety you might make this video go viral if you fall <laughs> yeah. see nice 
Yeah. It is pretty cold. That's how cold it is out here. Ice is still right on the edge of the bank. Yep. In the shade. In the shade, of course, but. How are I mean, you gonna if get I up? I slipped. I would. That, that would be a water slide or. Yeah, a rock you know slide I'm not. It would be terrible, but it would also be <laughs> quite funny. Pretty cool. Now we know for next time. This is a this is a better site if we're without kids. I would still be a little scared to bring the kids here because yeah. that's a pretty steep. Especially drop. When it's nighttime. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. So. That's pretty. Okay, guys, so it's only appropriate to christen the new camper, uh, its first maiden voyage. So we are going to be using highly sophisticated fireball in a plastic bottle. <laughs> so it's not going to be breaking anything, but uh, it's about as hard as I'm going to get it. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> back on and cheers to everyone who watched the build of this and uh, we're having fun yeah. so we'll probably start getting a fire going here pretty soon and cooking some hot dogs we're really gonna take it up a, up a up a notch tonight gourmet gourmet hot dogs but I don't know I just love hot dogs when I camp no, you can't do wrong with a hot no. dog when you're camping. It's just a thing. So <laughs> Good old hot wiener. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right. So, funny story. This guy just said that uh, he was camping next to us. And uh, as you can see, he's got a 80,000-foot motorhome that's uh, parking next to us. So, uh, we're going to give him some health because I've got a 10-foot RV. Super nice. <laughs> so excited to come camping. I kind of want to park baby minnow next to him. <laughs> baby minnow. <laughs> yeah. My trailer doesn't need air brakes. It's got its own zip code. Hey guys, so right before we get the, the bed undone, I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like in here. Pre-bed fold out, so this is when it's in the kind of couch position. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's how the, the couch works. on. This is going to be so nice. Much better than waking up with the blow-up mattress deflated, laying on a rock sticking into the middle of your back. That happened. That was awful. I don't think I ever showed you guys because this has kind of always been covered up, but we do have a couple of um, drink holders, I guess, in the corner. And we have my voltage meter. We got 
couple of USBs, uh, cigarette style. And if this light gets too bright, I can always just cut this whole thing off from there. And then over on the wife's side, she's got the same thing. She's got a couple of cell phone chargers. So at night we can, you know, put her cell phone up on this little shelf. It'll charge overnight, but this is awesome. This is going to be so comfortable. What do you think? Yeah, it's cold out here. <laughs> this is nice. And it is warm in here. 64 degrees inside right here. Yeah. It's about 40 degrees outside right now, so it's definitely warmer in here, but the door's wide open, so. Yeah. All right, cool. Excited. So. <laughs> she doesn't want to get out. It's warm and cozy. I mean. How you do camping? Well, in 30 minutes it'll be dark enough, definitely, to get a fire going. You need your toboggan? No. I can't sit there for me. Well, depending on where the smoke tends to go, I'll put the heater behind us and the thing will heat us up. Lighter, like a quick lighter, like a long, let me see it. It's why, what do you need it for? I just wanted to see if I can set one of these sticks on fire. <laughs> That's not gonna last long enough. This stuff's dry. Fuel. I'm determined to make this work now so you can't be a smart ass about it. I mean, it's cold and dry. She said. <laughs> it's cold and dry. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> Feels good. It is cold. <laughs> I need buns. You want me to prepare? Let me hold these while you go get the buns so we'll be ready. I think it's gonna take the hot dogs quite a while to warm up. Like they're getting black, but I don't think they're getting that warm. Not very hot. Really? Mm -mm. You act like like cheese was crazy. I always put cheese on my hot dogs. And cheese is amazing. Yeah, but I don't know. No, but cheese. It's weird. Weird. Camping. No. Oh man. Stuck my hot dog in. 
Now. Gourmet camping hot dogs, mustard and cheese only. Mm. Uh, and cheese. Yeah. Warm. Warm bread enough. Cold. The bread cold. Crispy. It's cold. You can see breath. Is it crispy because it's cold or because you put it over the fire? No, I mean, it's kind of like dried out crispy. Like croutony. It's terrible. Try to stay warm and we will hunker down. And I can't say hunker down, that's Steve Wallace. Oh. Fail on me. But um, so far, the buddy heater little fan is working out great. The wife loves it. It does actually put out some heat, so I'm glad we brought that. But um, yeah, it's a great night. Uh, it's pretty quiet out here right now. I think most people went to go actually get something to eat and they'll be coming back later. But uh, we will see you guys when we get in a nice, cozy, comfy bed. So, hey guys, quick update. We're just sitting around the fire, but I want to show you guys what the uh, temperature is because it's getting pretty chilly. So, right now outside, it is 34 degrees. I think that's a pretty modest assessment it feels a lot colder than that but <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cold I'm staying near the fire. so we got the fire pit going we got mr buddy heater going with the fan which is working well we got the amazing wife stoking the fire poking the fire poking stoking but it sure does feel a little bit colder than 34 degrees but the inside of the camper, guys, right now is like 64, 65 degrees. But uh, when we get in there and get all huddled up and, and cozy, I'll show you the thermometer inside. But I got I got the heater going in there right now, that 350-watt little as-seen-on-TV heater, which so far, thumbs up, guys, because it, it, it's amazing. It works. But we will... Uh, Check back in a little bit later. I don't know what's gonna happen. No! That's not what I want. Okay. This this is not going as planned. No, no, that's not safe. Okay guys, let's see what the uh, temperature is right now. We're looking at 27 degrees. So we are below freezing. So if we were in a freezer, we'd be frozen. <laughs> it's cold out here. Um, Thank goodness this fire is warm. It is warm, it is nice. The buddy heater's working fantastic. But, uh, we're five degrees below freezing and uh, we're feeling it. So. Gotta poke the fire some more. It's 
It's cold. But hey, let's go take a trip down to the camper to see what the uh, temperature is inside the camper. A balmy 56 degrees. So it's definitely warmer in here. Now we've been we've been uh, going in and out of the camper all night long, so uh, we're losing a lot of heat, but. It's a lot better than being outside, so. So, good night, guys. We are in bed uh, watching a movie. This is crazy comfortable. Uh, do you agree? Way more comfortable than any other camping trip we've been on. Yeah, we're used to air mattresses that deflate in the middle of the night, yeah. and we end up laying on rocks. So, <laughs> Hello, Peter. this is What's quite that? nice. Uh, it is below freezing tonight. Uh, inside the camper right now, we are looking at. Uh, not Celsius. Let's see if we can change that. 56 degrees. But we have opened up the doors obviously quite a bit right now, uh, getting in and out, changing into our jammies. But much better than being outside and or being in the tent. So. See you guys in the morning. Okay, everyone, that is a wrap for the maiden voyage of this camper. It turned out really great. Uh, it towed really well. It kept us pretty warm. Uh, we did wake up in the middle of the night, and I had to close the window, crack it, and shut the, 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 the roof vent because it got pretty cold. So we did wake up and close all that stuff off, and that gave the little heater a chance to kind of heat things back up. But um, once we closed all the windows, it got to about 65 degrees inside, and it was... 22 degrees outside this morning so it was cold this morning but we planned on staying two nights but we just kind of both looked at each other and decided let's just head home tonight uh we tested it out we knew we, we know that it'll work now uh, we can take the kids along i think it'll be great it'll be fun so i hope you guys kind of found that somewhat entertaining uh again the camper did great couldn't be couldn't be happier with it so um until then guys take care see you next time